we're working on converting within our custom customary measurement units and there's not we don't have a standard system the metric system is all based on 10 so we're just increasing or decreasing by powers of 10 the customary unit is not consistent like the metric system and so for length we're dealing with inches to feet and feet to yards and 5,280 feet to miles and weight we're dealing with ounces we've gone over this in class in pounds 2,000 pounds and in ounces but when we're converting <coughs> let's say from inches to feet or feet to inches we use multiplication when converting from larger to smaller units meaning the foot's larger than the inch so when converting from larger units let's say we had two feet we would multiply by the smaller one to convert it so we're multiplying and we use division when converting from smaller units to larger units for example with the inches if we had 24 inches we would use division to figure the feet. We divide 24 by 12 and see how many sets of 12 we have, which sets of 12 would make a foot. So that's how we do our conversion. We can also um, do the work we've done with ratio. So if I'm going to convert 36 feet to inches, that's like saying for every one feet is 12 inches. So what it, that has to equal, what would that equal if I had 36 feet? So um, how many inches would that be? So 1 to 12 is equal to 36. Some, what 36 to what? So we could use a cross multiplication, uh, cross products, 1x equals 12 times 36 and we should get 432. Now you notice I used a whoops, 432. Um, so basically all I did is multiply the 36 by 12 because I'm always comparing it to the one inch so I can just think of it. But that's really what we're doing. We're using ratios.